Welcome guys to Knowledge Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to create a calculator in Visual Basic. Last time I showed you the use of label and uh, text box. So today I'm going to use the same concept in order to create a calculator. And uh, you know this is a text box. We are going to put three text box. Just copy it and paste it. No. Okay. One, two for the number to have we added for number one, and this is for number two. So we can add number one, number two, and put the result in here. Okay, now you need a label box. You can rename it here. Number one. Number two, and here are the result. This is going to be easy concept. Just click it and just minus it as the properties and text. Okay, we need an add button. An add button, subtract button. Multiplication button, a divide button, and uh, what do I need? I think that's more than enough. Add mul minus multiply. Where's the symbol for multiply? Okay, multiply and divide okay now we got four buttons i think this is more than enough for for you guys to learn this okay to make it more attractive i'm going to change the background color of this go to back color you can use any color you want let's go with light blue oh, that's not so good at all okay well, how about this one yeah, um, this not so good at all. Okay, great. I okay, guess this is nice. And uh, to change the color of the label box, I'm going to change this to transparent. But you cannot see the test now, so just go to four color, change it to white. Okay. Let's select this two and change it to white. I use control to select the both of this and uh, just make them transparent. Okay, now we got three label box, three text box, and four com command buttons. Four command buttons, right? Now you'll use, if you want to change the font, you can change the font here. Go below and you can see. I'm going to send, sorry for something like that. I'm going to change it to Times New Roman. I think that's more professional. 16, okay. Now I'm going to use Control to select the three. Change it to Times New Roman. 16 is more than enough. Okay. That's it. doesn't look like a minus okay now it looks like minus okay now we got four buttons the label box and if you want to change the properties of this you can change it too okay now let's get into the coding and if you want to change the name of your form 
just click this go to caption change it to FLC okay now let's click the plus button and double click it to get into the coding window now you can see this this is text one let's rename it to number one and one so while writing the coding you can use number one number two as a without using text three text one okay now you go we rename the name of it so it's just like an identifier for the text box now let's get into the coding i'm going to type the coding for command one you can use command plus tab to switch between coding window and the prop and the design window now if you want to change the color you can also change it in the properties okay now let's click command one which is add button now you want the result to be displayed in the result text box which is here you can see it's given the name of the identifier is result i mean name of the text box is result and so we are going to type as result the property that gives the value in the text box is text so we're going to use result dot text equal to so we have to add the two values so we're going to use value of number one plus value of number two that's it and for the minus button same result dot text equal to value of number one minus value of number two and for multiplication we have result dot text equal to value of number one into value of number number two so number one number two number one represents this text box which is number one here and number two this represents this one which i renamed the name into no2 and result displays this property displays the result text box okay as now we know the concept very clearly now let's get into the runtime okay and i'm going to type 67 89 add 156 okay now i'm going to reduce it to 65 here okay minus into divide oh i just didn't write the coding for the divide so let's write the coding for the divide button result of text equal to value of n01 divided by value of n02 that's it guys now play it 34 divided by 2 17 yeah that's right right okay now i showed you how to create a calculator you can do this for any type of process you want so if you want the result to be uneditable can use a label box for the result to show you that too here we have a label box we just move the text in it and make it transparent okay and you can change the font color to white so you can even see the text just move this Oh, we can show the result in both the boxes. So now, what is the name of this label box? Label 4. Label 
info dot text sorry dot caption equal to okay just copy this and that's it now when you play you click buy buy and when you click add it displays here as well as here but in label box you cannot edit it but in text box you can edit it so you can use this method also to create a calculator so i showed you the, both the methods in calculator okay now let's get into the form one and let's save it first okay now let's see okay now we have saved it and we have, a, we have also a calculator and you can copy the label box and all the options all the buttons but just change the value here minus here multiplication here division that's it guys and let's say it okay we have saved it now we have to convert it into an exe so file click make project on exe and give any name to it like cal c i'm going to save it in my desktop okay and clicking ok now the exe has been written now you can see a cal c exe you open it and find a calculator you give any value you add it minus it multiply it divide it so that's it guys i hope this is very easy for you to create and i hope you i hope you guys liked it thank you guys for watching hit like and subscribe